Fine with Xavier, and welcome to Vlad von Karstein, about to assault this ginormous army of Middleheim men, or whatever the heck their name are. There's a lot of them, but here's my strategy, and this is why I haven't started this episode with the typical start slash uh, record. I'm going to be talking up a frigging storm. Uh, I'm anticipating losing control of the situation, as they say. Uh, so I'm gonna grab my front lines here the second the bat- what the- thank you, camera, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Anyway, I'm gonna grab my front line seater, and the second the battle starts, immediately move them in. They're all locked, they're gonna come in like crazy madmen. Can I actually do that right now? No, you can't issue orders until you start. Uh, next up, I'm going to pretty much immediately have Vlad just spam cast uh, overcharge uh, undead skeleton warriors from behind. Uh, and then all of the flanking units are going to be flying in, going after all their arches over here on the left and also up on the right. Uh, and last but not least, I don't actually think I'm going to use Ellis ability very much here. Where the heck did she even go? Right here in the background? The Pendulum of Balance? Mostly because I anticipate the second I start, these guys are going to dance around and who the hell even knows what kind of formation. If I get a really long straight line of them, maybe I'll use it, but over- I mean, even regular cast, it's 11 mana. Whereas over here, I'm looking at, like, five or whatever to raise warriors, and I want to get those warriors out as fast as possible. So, that's the strategy this time around. Uh, let us... Go! It's gonna be crazy, Vlad! Get in there! Everyone basically get in there. Also, let's get all the uh, riders over here, hounds over there as well. Bats on this angle, get them in on those uh, cannon eaters as wonderful. You bats over here come in that direction, and of course, all Varkais get up there in that direction. Wonderful. Ellis come up here as well. Looks like their lord right here, Arnt Schneck, is right in the middle of the front line here. Let's get Vlad, if we can. Attacking Arnt Schneck, awesome. Let's do overcharges immediately on the warriors now. Let's cast them basically wherever we can fit them. Can I even fit them right there? Not really sure. I can definitely fit them right here, though. Let's do that. Awesome. I think because we have this awesome line here, we will indeed use a Pendulum of Balance right along that line there. It's going to be fantastic. And we are indeed getting all manner of things breaking here. Oh, I didn't even zoom in on that one, but I'm a little too busy with other things at the moment, like all this stuff going on down there. Awesome. The Varakais are ripping these guys to shreds. Let's get some of them up there then. Uh, and simultaneously, let's get the Blood Riders. I know they're doing a good job here, but let's actually move them over here really quick and come back in in this direction. Come on, guys. Charge, 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 charge. We need you over here. Awesome. Uh, all of you Varakais, come over here now. Work on those guys. Back to Vlad really quick. Overcharge Warriors. Go for it. Right in the middle of everything. You bats, if you would be so kind as to fly over here and help out with all these guys, that would be great. I really don't want you guys dying in the midst of all this mayhem and madness over here. Meanwhile, let's do a bit of the old stick of truth here on pretty much everybody. A bit of the old, whatever this thing is, Undeath Resurgent, Master Beguilement. We'll just cast it on anything that's nearby right there. It looks good. Let's do an Overcharge Invocation on all of our units right there because they're going to need it. And then last but not least, if we can summon up another warrior, which we can't do because I need to Overcharge. Oh, I can do it, actually. Can we charge them up, like, right here? Yes, we can with Vlad. Awesome. We'll just toss that right there, and then back to all of our units back here. Are they doing fantastic? Yes, they are. Let's get these chargers now and charge in from behind. Let's get all the Varkais, get them to charge in from behind as well. Now, let's start using the bats to single-handedly charge these things down. Uh, two bats on, like, every single unit, basically. And then one over here. You bats stay right there. Hounds, if you'd chase those guys into the ends of time, that would be perfect. Uh, meanwhile, Blood Riders, they're coming in here from behind. Awesome on the Pistoliers. That's what we want to see. Back to Vlad, another overcast a skeletal warrior, like, say, right there, if at all possible. That would be ideal. Come on, Vlad. Cast it up, friends. There we go. Let's get them right here on, in on these guys. Is anything actually dying right, need in, right now and in need of an invocation? As far as I can tell, no. We're doing pretty good here. Ellis and Vlad are going to town on all these guys. Warriors are spawning. Let's have them come in here and charge them from behind. Uh, meanwhile, Varkais, come over here and take down these speedermen. Or not speedermen, archers. How are we doing out here? Great. Bats are taking these guys down perfectly. These guys have reformed. My hounds here are chasing them. Awesome. We're going to need, however, some more bats. Where are these bats? Three, one here, one there. Uh, one over there. Let's get them charging this down. Awesome. You guys go charge them down. Fantastic. Let's get the Blood Knights now out of the... Out of meleeing a million guys, simultaneously let's overcharge some warriors for those skeletal spearmen to deal with. And let's get the blood knights to come over here then. Charge some other direction. Oh, meanwhile, these things are getting wrecked here by the Varkais. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Let's get the blood knights over here to help out with that, because those pistoliers, I think, have more armor. They'll take a little bit longer to actually exterminate everybody. Uh, if you bats could come in here and finish them up for good, that would be absolutely perfect. Meanwhile, back to Vlad. Can we do another... Do I want to do an invocation? No, I don't. I want to do another skeletal warrior summon, like, right there. Awesome. Another stick of truth, let's say, right here on everybody. And, of course, 
Undeath Resurgent. Ellis, are you actually in the fight right now? It looks like you are to some extent. These guys are holding the line over there fantastically. Uh, let's go check out now the Blood Knights. Where did they end up going? Back over there. No, thank you. Let's come back up here and charge them from behind. Awesome. Let's get all the Vodarkais over to go finish up these pistol leaders. I think they were taking the archers down before. One of you Vodarkais go finish up that archer. Awesome. These bats out here are working on those guys. That's good. You get you bats can come back over here. Awesome. You know what? Another one of you bats can come back over here. Awesome. Uh, meanwhile, let's get over on Ellis really quickly. And let's have her fly out here and take out Arnt. Uh, meanwhile, Vlad, you want to come over here and take out Arnt yourself? That would be fantastic. Here come the Blood... or, uh, yeah. The Blood Knights? You know what? We can actually watch this, I feel. Can we overcharge some Skeletal Warriors right there? Click on the Blood Knights and watch them get in right next to Vlad. That's what we're talking about. They just murdered all manner of stuff right there. All manner of stuff. Let's actually have them come back, though, a little bit now, because we're getting a little bit overwhelmed from 17 different directions. You guys are working on that. These guys are completely shattered. Let's pull them back down here. These guys are completely shattered with the hounds. We'll pull them back down there. Awesome. These things seem to be completely done. We'll pull them back over here. My Vodarkais, all you guys completely shattered out here? No. Let's grab two of these Vodarkais, though, and pull them back in here to help us out against these spearmen. One Vodarkais chase down that guy. You one Vodarkais chase down that guy there, just for now. Uh, let's go over here to the Blood Knights. They're not even doing anything, but they are indeed getting hit by these handgunners. I want to pull them away. We'll go after those handgunners. Fantastic. Vlad, another overcast skeletal warrior right there. Fantastic. And let's do some beguilement on Arnt Schneck here while we have the opportunity. Uh, should I do a overcast invocation? Probably not. Probably don't need an invocation at all. We're doing actually really good here. Vlad, come in. Ellis, did you get in there? Nope, you're actually a little bit busy. Come over here and take out Arnt, please. Back to Vlad. We got seven, six seconds till we can cast some more warriors. You know what? You, um, Vodarkais, come down here and take out these pistoliers. Oh, these things are completely shattered now as well. Let's get them up there. Awesome. Let us, in fact, grab the riders and charge up here against these guys. And it looks like, actually, believe it or not, I think I'm completely done. These things are all shattered. Voila! The day is ours! And the AI thought they had some chance to actually win this battle, but wouldn't you know, the thing is they didn't. Now, these guys are going to retreat. Oh god, there's no chance here. Ellis, could you- oh, actually, Ellis has the Miasma, and the Miasma does slow. Let's cast that up here with Ellis. Fantastic, and then get Ellis in there to melee. And then let's get uh, all of these bats and whatnot just working on different units, wherever the heck they are. You bat go over there, great. Bat go there. Just, I'm just going to pick random units and have them come out here. I want to run down as many of these guys, like, into the ground as possible. Butterkais, I think you're all busy. Yep, come up there. Awesome. I just want to make sure they're completely and utterly dead. Every single every single casualty I can inflict, I want to inflict it. Back here to Ellis really quickly. Oh, nice. Ellis did indeed. Did indeed catch up to Arn Eater. Come on, Ellis. You got this. Vlad, you can do it too, maybe. Maybe not. Oh, Ellis. Another miasma. Slow him down. Super close. Slow him down. Charge onto him. Charge onto him, Ellis. Don't let him get out of here. Don't let him get out. Ellis, come on. Come on, Ellis. Land. Land, you doofus. You went the wrong way. No. He's going to get out. He made it out. Bloody hell. Oh, well. Well, at least he'll have, like, zero health or whatever. Do I need to do anything right now? I think I've got things set up to charge, like, every individual unit across the universe. Vodarkais over there. Let's get the riders up there. Awesome. Hounds, you're not busy. Just just go charge something down. I don't know. Pick something and charge it, please. And then let's go into fast motion here. I just really want to make sure. I never really trusted the AI in these games to run down enemies at the end. It's gotten better over the years, but if you want to ensure that things go right, this is really the way to do it here. Let's grab these Vodarkais and get them over here. Actually, right. Oh, hello, Vodarkais. Right there, please. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. And then you guys can take on those guys. Awesome. Got some Vodarkais out here chasing them. That are gone. Too bad. And I think that's about it. I look in, Looking like we're, for the most part, done here. We chased down every single unit we possibly could. Murdered all kinds of extra guys just for fun. And I even got one or two cinematic moments there in that supposedly, decidedly uphill battle, but not so much. Not so- did I even lose anything? Actually, I got all my spearmen. Oh, I think I might have lost my zombies. I, yeah, I had one extra thing of zombies. I had two, three, one, and the zombies. Oh, poor zombies. I did still keep my blood knights, I got my dire wolves, I got all five bats, all four Varkais, and I've got Ellis. Holy mother of heavens, did that strategy work out. 
They came at us with like three times our numbers and our plan was get right in their face and punch it. And it worked. It worked. Such is the power of Vlad von Karstein. God, that was freaking epic, wasn't it? Like my music playing out there, right? It is my voice. And then I had to go talk right now and ruin it rather than click the end battle. God, it was so perfectly timed though. Holy, look at this guy's Vodarkais, 188, 116. There's only like two of those guys, keep in mind. Bats, 113, 165, 71. Those bats went crazy. Even the hounds got 42, Blood Knights, 186. Our poor zombies only got six kills before they died. Be or Ellis rather got 124. And even my warriors did pretty good. Everyone did incredibly good there. 464 losses. Um, and we, they suffered 1,552. A close victory, according to this. Loot gained, $610. All right. What do we want to do here? Ranked gain 30. I think I want to go for return captives because I'm kind of broke and I want all the money. Did we actually lose the zombies? I think we did. My poor double gold chevron zombies are no more. That's sad. Not that I really needed. I should have just disbanded those a thousand years ago. Anyway, hey, Arnt, how you doing, friends? Oh, and look, he's outside of the capital. Enchanted item gained, a potion of speed. Ooh, that could actually be really awesome for someone like. Uh, can I equip that right here? For someone like Ellis there, who can fly around at the end, she could have maybe chased somebody or chased down Arnt, Arnt Schneck or whatever the heck his name is. Can we give that talisman to her? Was it a pal talisman? Hand we Whoa. She actually doesn't have anything. What the hell am I doing? I don't know how to play this game, apparently. Well. Uh, we can give her the Shrieking Blade. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? So we'll give her that. We have tons of armors that no one's even using. Hmm. Missile resistance. No, I think I'm going to go for the Night Shroud. That looks pretty good here. Ellis definitely deserves to stay alive. So we'll give her all the things we can. Rather foe Toric. Hmm, I don't have to actually do that. I'm not sure that's going to be that necessary. Potion of Toughness. Ah, here we go. Potion of Speed. That's what I wanted to do. Casting item. Forbidden Rod. Ooh, greatly increases power reserves. Hell yeah. And Mount Nun. Barded Nightmare. Hellsteed. Which one's better? Hellsteed, right? And then do we want to put some more stuff in here? Campaign line of sight. Post chance of stealing stuff. I mean... Income from post-battle loot? May as well, right? Raise dead costs? Well, you know who I should actually give that to? Magic item drop chance, 4%. Sure. We're going to do some raising dead pretty soon, I think, on Isabella. Maybe not like right now, but I was thinking between episodes I should give her all these raise dead cost reduction things because she's going to use them. And all these grave diggers on, like, Vlad and Crispy and stuff, they're really not going to... Can you have more than one grave digger? I have no idea. Campaign movement range, 5%. Hell yes, let's give that to her. Hopefully that stacks with Vlad. I'm not sure. I assume it would. Just add everything in. Campaign line of sight, sure. We'll use that as well. Voila. Now we're looking pretty good here. We're looking a pretty good. I am indeed going to get out of that. That was a lot of stuff that I just failed to do. Let's upgrade Vlad here, or failed to do before. All right, well, I guess for Vlad, we're just going to go all out crazy guy. I'm going to switch off of armor. I'm going to go straight forward. I think melee attack, and then right through bloodlust, and then all kinds of just increase his personal capabilities. Now, we need to decide some very important things here. Can I deal with this? Vlad is pretty beaten up. Almost, e I mean, if we wait one turn, everything's going to be healed up like a ton. An absolute ton. However, if we wait one turn, I have a feeling this guy's going to heal up a ton. And then he's just going to send, well, this guy heal up a ton. Wasn't there a third guy around here or someplace too? Um, I'm feeling like they're just going to siege repeatedly and I'll never heal at all. And so basically they're going to alternate healing and they're just going to keep redoing this nonsense like indefinitely. So I should probably come out here while I have the opportunity and do like a quick assassination here on Arnt Schneck. We'll just like take him out with Vlad, hyperaggression, crush him, and then get out. If I attack him, Absolutely we've got... Not. Well, he's got 11 guys. I Over here, not. we're looking at 9. And then, of course, we have the garrison of 9. But half of Impossible. these... No. 9 and 11 are basically at half strength. I think we can do this. Can we get Wu Ten to do something to help out? Assault units, $390. Well... What's the chances over here? 331 for 50. 
What about over here, Wu-Tang? 390 for 44 percent. All right. I think I'm going to invest in this. Uh, come on, Wu-Tang. Assault the units. Failure. Oh, well. Well, what are you going to do? At least Wu-Tang's a little bit better off. Now let's go for assault units. <laughs> Get Wu-Tang some actual, uh, actual success here in the near future. Lord of the Dead. What can we raise here? Pretty much nothing. Let's go for another Spearman then. I could combine some units, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to do that. Let's combine this one here with this one because they're both lower experience. Okay, so now we have one who's half up and he's got one experience. But we can now raise a full zombie. And there we go. There we go. Let's look around the rest of the base, though. Unassigned skill point down here on Isabella. Um, I definitely kind of want to go. Oh, lightning strike is not. Oh, if her if the, her last thing is lightning strike, does she have the thing for? Ooh, raise dead cost minus fifteen percent is actually here. With that being the case, I want to go through that almost right now. Although raise dead is insanely good, I am now realizing. So instead, I think I'm going to do this. Let's go for raise dead first. And I kind of want to get Isabella some experience doing something. Uh, what can we do with her army down here to get a little bit of experience? We could actually go raid someone. Who are we at war with, though? Nobody. We've killed everybody we're at war with. Such is the fate of attacking us. All right, well, let's go take a look here. We're at war with Middenland, and that is it. Hmm. All right. Well, okay, you know what we could do is we could drum up some rebellions to fight. That's what we could do. Ah, Karakirn. So several people were telling me I should buy the, uh, the mines. Does Karakirn have mines? It does. It has a dark iron mine pit. Ah, I see. Right there, yeah. Here's the thing with that, though. The gibbet also gives order, and I need that, and I need the Balefire Brazier for the corruption. It's barely holding this town together here. So, I don't really think I can do the mines until I upgrade that town, which unfortunately is going to take forever. And I don't have much option here to do anything either, so. Grenstat's not going to rebel anytime soon. None of these things are going to rebel anytime soon. Well, I can't really start any... Ooh, actually, I could start... Well... I was going to say I could start a war against these guys down here, but we got Karl Franz up Prince there. And Emperor. And he's looking pretty serious. The Silver Bullets Handgunners. Why are these purple? Is that something new? I don't know, but I've never seen that purple before. Also I over here, be Belthazard Gel. Pretty sure they're going to crush that because he seems to be working in on that direction. So, yeah, I think I just need to promote a rebellion someplace. Let me figure out how I can do that. Uh, this is how I can do it right here. We bring Isabella out of Fieldorf. You know what? Let's bring her down here to the Dwarven territories, like this. Can we get out of March for a minute? Yes, we can. Fantastic. Uh, she could also go in ambush. I don't care about that. Chris B right now needs to come up here and relieve... Who even is this? Walmond Van Hal I haven't renamed him. But I think Chris B needs to come up here and replace Walmond. And Walmond will be our future character we name later. So... I don't think I want to go that direction either. I want to make sure I don't, like, encroach on either one of these guys' territories. So I think right here. Assuming there's no river here that I... Oh, actually, there is a river there. Interesting. So I've got to cut through, like, right here at this bridge. All right, well, that's fine. We'll move him up there, and next turn we'll come around. Meanwhile, I'm pretty sure this army over here of 20 guys, they're going to attack for sure. We have to buy two turns, and we've only got 13 right now, so... We're going to have to raise up everything. Everything we can get, go for it. Awesome. There you go. Temporary Walmans. That's literally all we can do. Or could I move down here and raise up even more, actually? I probably could. You know what? Let's do it. Let's move down here. Anything else to raise in this different region? Ah, there is. Could I raise up enough army to actually kill this guy over here? <laughs> He's like, I'll ignore that. Well, I might be able to do it, but it's going to cost me a ton of money, and I really want to focus on other stuff. So let's just hold down the fort here, wait for Crispy to show up, then we can disband Wolman, save a little bit of money. I want to try to save some money here to get Wissenberg upgraded. 
so that we can then upgrade to the Awakened Battlefield, as I've been talking about. It's going to take kind of a while to get that all done. Meanwhile, I guess it's time. Yeah, Vlad's got to do this. He's got to do it, friends. Let's roll. Ooh. Surprisingly, it's actually pretty well in our favor. Well, I mean, it's not, but it's way better than the last battle was. Interesting. So the plan is, let's try to come up and completely evaporate Arnt Schneck, right? Let's open the map here briefly. Then we're, they're going to have two reinforcements. I don't know where the reinforcements are coming from. One of which is kind of wounded with not much. And the second one is just their garrison, which quite frankly, I could probably kill no problem as well. All I got to worry about is these crossbows, but... Yeah, let's go do it. Let's go do it. All right, here's the plan. Unfortunately, they're smart and they're deploying right near their garrison. Uh, but here's my plan. It's to crush them anyway. So pretty much, yep, sounds good. Let's go! Everybody get in there. They're fantastic. Range units get in there. They're bats get in there. They're awesome. Mortar bats get over here. They're awesome. Varkites get in there. They're awesome. Vlad get in there. Ellis get in there. Whole everybody's get on in there. Whole everybody's. Meanwhile, let's overcast some warriors like right now as soon as we can possibly get them in there. Awesome. Is the entire army moving? Uh, no, actually, the Varkais are not. I clicked the wrong button because I put them on a different thing. So let's get them in there as well. This is a lot of stuff coming in all really fast. I don't like my plan here in the slightest. I do not like my plan. Let's get Vlad up here. Let's get Ellis in here really quick. I think we can still do this, but it's just going to be ridiculous and a lot more effort than I thought it was going to be. A lot more effort. All right, let's get all the bats over here now. All the bats, all the ranged units, all the Varkais. Get you guys out of here. Get out, 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 get out. Bats, get out, get out. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Hounds, Blood Knights, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Everybody out. Okay, awesome. Now, back to Vlad here. Vlad, please get in here and find some places to go. Let's get these bats up here in that direction now. Bats up there. Awesome. Varkais, get you up on the pistol leaders. Uh, actually, right there is the Varkais. You guys are over here. Awesome. Let's get the uh, range units up there and a bit of the old bats in this direction. Fantastic. Now, Vlad, overcast some warriors right here in the middle of everything. Awesome. Let's do a bit of the old stick of truth for everybody. Looks good. Uh, of course, Undeath Resurgent, and let's debuff, I don't know, some of their Halberdiers, because I can see them right there. If I can manage to pull the trigger on them. Awesome. Uh, I think I will do an Overcast Invocation here, because everyone's looking pretty beaten up, at least at the current moment in time. But yeah, this is this is coming along here. Back to Vlad really quick. Another Overcast Warrior. Wherever we can toss those Warriors, let's get him in there right behind. Awesome. You guys are chasing them down pretty well. That's what I want to see. Or we can just, just crush them. Just crush them. You guys come back here and deal with them. Awesome. Where are my bats over here? Okay, you're doing okay, but come back up here and deal with them instead. I did lose one bat somewhere in the main the main volley here. That's less than ideal. Let's get the Blood Knights back up here and leave the Hounds. You know what? It's actually going to be really annoying with these, uh, these Pistol Eaters out here. What we could do is get a whole bunch of the Hounds chasing them down, maybe. Uh, back to Vlad. Let's do another Overcast Warrior right behind everyone right there. Awesome. Make sure he's in there fighting someone somewhere. And simultaneously, do you want to blow some stuff on Ellis? I think we do, actually. I think we do. We've never seen a thing so good as what we're about to do right there. Oh, God. Right there. Oh, come on, game. What the? Just do it. Okay. I guess, I guess it didn't get done. This is just what I needed to do right now is waste time on this stuff. Okay, let's cast. Mm -hmm. Controls. Controls. Oh, my God. There we go. Finally, it just kept letting go. All right, here we go. Wonderful. That's an insane amount of guys. However, how are all my bats doing? Can we please get the bats up here? Uh, great. Varkais are just sitting around. Get them up there. Awesome. You guys are chasing them down. Great. Back to Vlad. Another Overcast Warrior. That would be fantastic. Let's do it right there. Perfect. Undeath Resurgent as well. Looks good. We are just evaporating these guys. We evaporate them all day, every day. Do they even have any more enemies up here? Do they do? But not for very long, and we're about to crush them. Let's get all the bats down here. Uh, more bats down there. Also, come on, guys. Just finish up those pistol leaders. You're a bunch of Varkais. You got this. You got this, friends. Let's do another stick of truth down here on Vlad. If at all possible, right there. Awesome. Another overcast uh, skeletal warriors right here. Fantastic. Varkais did indeed finish up their thing. So let's fly in here for a flank from behind. Awesome. Meanwhile, my Blood Knights, go chase down those Pistoliers that have been giving you trouble all this time. Back to Vlad. Can we do one really awesome Invocation Overcast here? Maybe? 
Nope, I can only do one normal invocation. I don't think I really need to do it. Let's do some beguilement some here. Oh, there we go. Gustel Talson. Let's do it on him. Vlad, get in there. LSU, are you alive and in here? Yep, you're doing fine. These guys aren't liking their, their odds anymore all of a sudden. And rightfully so, because we're ripping them to shreds. We are ripping them to shreds. The Blood Knights come back over here and charge these guys from behind. Fantastic. Have I even lost a unit yet? I have no idea. More overcast skeletal warriors right here in the midst of everything. Go for it. It is done. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. What do I need to do here to maximize success? To get you bats to come in down there, maybe? Order possibly a couple of you with the most hit points. Go chase down those pistol leaders. Awesome. And the Vodarkais all seem to be otherwise busy here, engaged with multiple units from multiple directions. Get in here to crush those guys. Vlad, have we crushed uh, Arnt yet? I, I imagine we must have by now. I have no idea where he is or what's happening. Hey, you know what would be awesome? It's some more zombies, because why not? Why not? Always all the more stuff. There we go. A unit has been wiped out. I have no idea what that was. To be honest, as long as it's not my Vodarkais, I'll be fine with it. Probably some of the units that I had summoned, I guess, because they kind of love to tell you they're getting wiped out for no reason. Let's get my Vardarkais down here, actually, against these Helberdeers. That's probably the main the main thing we need to deal with. You guys come down here. Oh, they're shattered. They're shattered. Everyone's shattered. And there we go, friends. The day is ours. Once again, hyper-aggressive Vlad. To <laughs> Before I started this strategy, or at least once I, once I engaged the battle and I had saw... I had seen Saw. Everyone always comments on how I say Saw. Once I, once I saw the massive amounts of guys that I was going to be fighting. Oh, I lost the Hounds. Eh, that's fine. They're pretty lame, la lame units anyway. But yeah, I thought I made a huge mistake. However, I didn't. I ain't make no mistakes. Vlad is literally infallible. Look at that. He's just sitting here. He's just sitting here learning this guy. He's toying with him for fun. It's like, you want to hit me? He turns around and gives him his back. And he's like, whoa, I kicked your head right off your skull. Or your skull right off your arms or shoulder. I don't know what I'm saying. All I know is that Vlad is just a freaking absolute sadistic nightmare. He, like, allows people to stab him in the back. Give him some hope. Give him a, a, a bit. A bit. A bit of encouragement. A, a glimmer of what might come if they could only land that stick in his back. And then guess what happens? He turns around and punches their head off. Actually, he kicks their head off. God, I love how Vlad just kicks people's heads off left and right in this campaign. It's amazing. Are we done here mopping up all the extra units? I could do a little bit more if I wanted to. I'm thinking that if I have the movement points, I can actually come in and crush the city right now and take it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to have the movement points for it, but... Hey, why not, why not finish up a few extra things and make it all easier when I get there, right? All right. Especially these halberdiers, I would love to crush them. Ooh, here comes the blood knights working on it. We can even get one more cinematic charge. Oh, yep, yeah. there they go. That was actually very lame in super fast motion mode, but. Wipe out the unit, all of them. And done. Oakley Dokley, a heroic victory this day. Heroic victory. All right. As per usual, looks like Vardarkais and Bats carried the day. Blood Knights did okay, and Ellis did one pa balance pendulum and got 139 kills from it. Apparently. Uh, okay, Arnt Schneck's army is literally evaporated, except for one Spearman. Gustel Talson's reinforcement army is actually still all alive, and surprisingly, all at like 50%. And then the Garrison here, we did, yeah, we did wipe out that one Halberdier at the end. The rest of them, surprisingly, actually have a lot of hit points. You know what? 540 leadership unit replenishment. I am going to need more replenishment, but I don't know what my replenishment's at right now. So, and I also, I do actually need the money to, to be able to buy the thing next turn. Let's do that. We'll return the captives. There you go, friends. And I do have extra action points. It looks like I can get in here. Stolen from the enemy Berserker. Berserker sword. Interesting. Enemy killed. Aren't chick. And follow regained mortal informer. Who is this doofus out here? Heinz Ludenhoff. Like the one guy ran out into the field, apparently. I cannot. 
All right, let's do it, friends. Let's do it. Quick blood here. Uh, let's go over to Ellis now. What would Ellis like to do? I don't remember. Oh, I think I was... What the heck was I doing with Ellis? I think I want to... What? What the heck? I just closed the thing. I think I want to get the arcane... Um, conduit, and that's going to require me putting two points in something. And I think I don't need a vortex. She already has the pendulum, so we'll go for the Occam's Mind Razor. Not even sure what it does, but there we go. And uh, Vlad, can you do another... Can you do it? <laughs> He is literally unstoppable. He is literally unstoppable. I'm feeling like I lost, uh, I did lose one hound there, and I did lose one bat there, unfortunately. But I can indeed recruit up more guys, so let's do that. I could group some of these guys together once again if I wanted to, and even recruit more. Let's do that. Awesome. Get one more zombie to fill in for us. Anything else I want to group up? Not really. I want to keep all these things independent with all their units. You know what I could do, though, is kick this zombie out of here. Get out of here, you doofus zombie. We'll recruit up a new one. Awesome. And I could probably group these skeletal warriors together. They're pretty lame. And we'll recruit one more zombie there. God. Wow. I just got like 500 extra reinforcements from the, the fields of battle. And here we go. Third time's a charm. And destruction. Or not! Holy mother of heavens. This time, though, we've got walls! And these walls are not made out of men. They are not- this is- this episode's ridiculous. I can't do a third battle here, mostly because... I think this is a good stopping point for the next- or a good starting point for the next episode. Like, the triple middlemen, or whatever the heck, Middenheim assault at Hergig will commence. In the next episode, we will evaporate these guys, we will claim their city, probably just sack it, take up a ton of money, and maybe give it to Isabella to raise an army. Although I don't know what she'd do, maybe I'll give it to um, Gris B if he gets up there, we can crush those other armies. And then I guess we're off into the Middenheim territories for some reason. Although... Kind of want to go after Altdorf, but, you know, I guess Middenheim is, is the road to Altdorf, as they say. Uh, anywho, when's we returning? More freaking chaos and madmen doing things, like kicking off people's heads. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Vlad is literally infallible. Look at that, he's just sitting here. He's just sitting here learning this guy. He's toying with him for fun. It's like, hey, you want to hit me? He turns around and gives him his back, and he's like, whoa, I kicked your head right off your skull. Or your skull right off your arms or shoulder. I don't know what I'm saying. All I know is that Vlad is just a freaking absolute sadistic nightmare.